Hey guys, welcome back. I have a new kind of coloring book for you guys today. These are um, Just Add Watercolor Flowers and Happy Thoughts. These are from Robin Pickens and they are by Design Originals um, and Fox Chapel Publishing. Um, <clears throat> each book has eight watercolor pages in them and what's great about these pages is um, they are on thick 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 watercolor paper they're amazing the paper quality um, let me just start with one book um, like I said just add color this one is flowers this um the book i like the beginning and all because it's like a, a mag thick magazine material and it tells robin pickens story how she got into coloring her you know how she went to school and everything that she did and how she breaks down um the pages for us so uh both books the cover the front insides are the, exactly the same she's got the uh, essential tools paint pan uh, pan paints tube paints paper brushes and it goes through all the different kinds of brushes that you could use you don't have to have them all of course techniques and tricks she shows you how to break down um, practice strokes different ones um, water care how to clean your brushes how to take care of them uh, masking materials water soluble pencils um, just a whole bunch of great great tips and then this one is water brushed, I'm sorry, water based brush markers, which are really cool. I don't have any of these yet, but I would like to get one. These are the Zig Clean something. I can't really read. Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers from Kiritaki. Different kinds of watercolor water brushes. I am using moment I am using um, these that I got from I believe these came from Kiritaki um, and this is the different size point if you can see it the one two and the three and these are really great I've tried um, other kinds like this one these are terrible. If you have these, just throw them in the trash. They're no good. Uh, <laughs> these are amazing. Um, you just open up the cap. You put your, you unscrew this right here. You put your water in the little container. And I have used every color you can imagine on these things. And they clean so well. Um, I just have like a paper towel here or something. And... No matter what color it is, you just squeeze a little bit out and you do like that a couple times and it's clean. You go on to your next color. They're great. Best watercolor pencils, brushes, I'm, I'm sorry, watercolor brushes that I have found so far. Okay, moving on. All right, now this is where the two books differ. Um, <clears throat> let's see. They both have this just add watercolor and it gives you a little, um, it uh, tells you about the next eight pages and some tips, but the pages are different. Like this one is the flower book and this one is the quotes. So, all right, let me flip through for you. But before I do, I want to tell you that it does say here that <clears throat> each design has been faded to a light gray. It's just going to be a guideline. So as a reviewer, it's going to be a little difficult for you to see some of the lines. But um, don't worry, because at the back of the book, there's a full color photo of each picture. I just wanted to show you guys that this paper is the most gorgeous, high quality watercolor paper. And I've never seen that in a coloring book. It's amazing. And they're really nicely perforated, single-sided. Um, this book has lovely quotes in them. Uh, let me flip a little. This is the cover. Uh, 
yeah, that's the cover picture. Um, I know it's hard to see, but just bear with me. You'll see them at the end. These would be so nice to watercolor them in and um, frame them for gifts. Be happy. <clears throat> My aunt's a beekeeper. She would love that. And this one is just random flowers. It'd be really pretty in a little girl's room or somewhere nice like that. Okay, this is the one that I did. You see it's all shiny and sparkly, some of them. For that, I used, let me show you. For the shiny ones, I used the Karataki Pearl Colors. And I absolutely love these. I'm definitely going to get some more. All I did was I take my plain water bottle and I just spritz in it and then just use my water brushes and color right on the page. The only thing I have to say about these is um, they're beautiful, but you don't really get that watercolor effect that I was looking for like this for these I used my my neo color oops I used my neo color twos to get the watercolor effect so pretty um, I just like to take my crayons and I'll just scribble on the cover and just again use my spray bottle and spritz it a little bit and that's all you need. I mean, a few little scribbles is all you need to color a picture. Because, I mean, it goes a little bit, goes a long, long way. <clears throat> okay. I think I'm going to do um, a color wash in the background all, as well. I just haven't decided what I want it to do. And I did some little light outlines and things. So I really like how it came out. It was really pretty. My first try. And see, nothing soaked through at all. This one says love. I hate that you guys can't see it. Well, that's the last one. But here we go. Um, these are what the pictures look like with their example that they colored. Let me go a little closer now that we can see. All right, look how pretty that is. You don't have to follow these colors. This is just a guideline. And that's like the front one. She goes step by step and tells you the colors she used and how she did her techniques. Isn't that pretty? The Be Happy page. The Clarissa one. The Standing Deco Flowers. This is the page that I did. See how different? Everybody's page is going to be different. This is the love page that I thought was so pretty. And then, as if that wasn't enough, they give you all of them on the same page. So you could just look at them to refer back and forth. I am in love with these books. Um, just wonderful. Um, let me show you the next one real quick. Again, that's the watercolor, just add watercolor flowers. And this one is the just add watercolor happy thoughts. This is the happy thoughts. Again, same thing. It's got eight watercolor pages in it. Design originals. And it is an imprint of Fox Chapel Publishing. I don't have to go through the front again because it's the same exact as it was on the, the first page book. The first few pages are just like the first book. And again, very, very light, like it says, because it's just like a guideline for you. So you can watercolor over it. And you know, you don't have to watercolor. You can use your markers, whatever you want. It's your book. I mean, look. Love it. Um, this one's a little darker. I could really see this one. All my love. Grow. Imagine. 
inspire. That would be nice in my office. Joy in my heart. This is the one I started on in this book. I think pretty. For this page, I'm not finished, but I am using, if I can pick them up. I want to try something different than I did in the other book. For this one, I'm using my Coran Diash Fan Color 40 Set Watercolor Pencils. And I have a small set of the Derwent Ink Tints Pencils. But I really, really, really love these ink tints. And I think I want to get a larger set now. But this set is amazing as well. Um, uh, the flower here, I used the ink tints and the, all the orange and for the green and the pinks, I used the, um, Coran Diash pencils. So, and then my water brush, of course. I think I'm going to go over... I have one handy, but um, I think I'm gonna go over this with one of those shiny um, oh, what are they called? Those little shiny pens that just put the like a glitter gel pen. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go over some of the parts. Okay, here's one of my oops moments where I was coloring the circle after coloring the petals, and they kind of um merged into one but I like it I like how it looks like right here too yeah a little bit here but I really really like it and I use two different shades of pink for the words okay this one I'm making for my daughter you are loved and then here we go with the pictures. There's the aim high. All my love. The grow, which is so pretty. Imagine, inspire. I like the two-tone that they have on these letters. Joy in my heart to think pretty. And I like how they did the outline on that and color washed it. And here we go with all of them on the same page. Isn't that neat? Just such a beautiful book. I don't get to use my watercolors as much as I like. So I'm really excited to have these two books to play around with. I want to thank Fox Chapel Publishing for sending these to me to try out. Thank you so much. And guys, I'm going to post a link where you can purchase this down at the bottom. Um, if you have any questions or comments, let me know and I'll be glad to answer them if I can. Uh, have a great day and if you haven't hit that sub button, please do and a thumbs up would be great. It helps me out so much. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.